Welcome back to the Week's Wiz. I'm Eitan. It's 2025, and today we're going to be doing a wrapped for Wix in 2024, talking about the top updates and features that you may have missed. So if you've been sleeping the whole past year and you still think that the logo behind me is Wix's most updated logo, then you'll probably find this video very useful. So let's get started. Wix Studio, although officially announced at the end of 2023, in 2024, we saw immense investment by Wix into this platform, both improving performance and introducing new features. This Wix Studio essentially replaces the more complex Editor X, which has now been deprecated officially. So all Editor X websites in 2024 became Wix Studio websites. And Wix essentially converged on two editors, which is the classic editor, which you might be familiar with, and Wix Studio, where the classic editor only allows you to have a desktop and a mobile view. So kind of a very 2010s feel, whereas the Wix Studio allows you to have many different breakpoints and build more responsive websites. This comes with the caveat of it being a slightly more complex editor and so has mostly been marketed towards agencies and freelancers who have a little more experience with web design. Still related to Wix Studio, we have the Figma to Wix Studio conversion tool released mid-2024. This tool allows you to design in Figma and export that design directly into Wix so that you essentially don't have to do things twice. It's important to note that you do have to play by Wix's rules in terms of how you design in Figma, but Wix has provided a bunch of wireframes and stuff that you can start with in order to build your design optimally inside of Figma so that it can be easily converted into a Wix Studio website. Back to the classic editor, perhaps the biggest change that we've seen in the classic Wix editor in 2024 is the change to the dataset UI datasets which we use to connect Wix elements to CMS collection data used to look something like this. So an icon that you would drag onto the screen and you could move around and use to open up your datasets. This has been converted now to the same UI as the Wix Studio editor, whereas they open up in this side panel over here on the side. So in order to access all of the datasets of your page, You'd have to go ahead and view all page data sets here on the bottom and you'd see a list of all your data sets instead of having to look around for all these icons that are spread throughout the editor canvas. You can't wrap up 2024 without talking about AI. Wix has also ridden the AI wave and incorporated AI into various places in the platform, such as the ability to generate AI created images inside of the Wix Media Manager, the ability to create AI generated text in various places across the website, such as even simple text elements that you add onto your canvas, and much, much more. You can find all the details about this at wix.com slash studio slash AI. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is all this AI warranted? Is it helpful? Or is it just fluff that distracts from actual new and important features on the platform? A lot has changed for devs as well. First of all, you may have noticed that inside of Wix Studio, the in-editor IDE has gone back to its original place where it was in Wix Classic over here on the bottom and not in a side panel that opens up over here like it was in the original release of Wix Studio. In addition, regarding IDEs, Wix has updated its IDE engine, so you may notice the behavior of the IDE, the one built into the editor, has changed a little bit, such as the functions becoming sticky when you're inside the scope of a function and only disappearing once you exit the scope. Another major change for developers in 2024 is the deprecation of the .jsw files in the backend. The Wix backend is where we have our own dedicated Node.js server that we can use for our website. Previously, we would write all the code for that server inside of .jsw files, which have now been deprecated 
in favor of the newer web module files. Your .jsw files should still continue working for the near future or even forever as Wix will probably be very hesitant to remove that completely as it would break thousands and millions of websites. Wix has made a lot of updates to its APIs in 2024 for developers developing both inside and outside the Wix ecosystem. One notable mention is the Wix e-commerce set of APIs, service plugins, and site widgets, which has essentially been completely dismantled and rebuilt from the bottom up to allow developers more access to customizing the native Wix e-commerce experience. You can do things like add your own custom catalog and create plugins that can be inserted into various pages of the Wix stores and Wix e-commerce apps, such as the checkout product page and category pages. That's all for today. Don't forget to check out the rest of the channel for more videos and tutorials about what we talked about today, as well as many other topics related to the Wix ecosystem. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video. Did I hit the important points from 2024? Did I miss any important updates and features? And what are your predictions for Wix in 2025? Last but not least, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss a lot of awesome tutorials coming out this year that will really take your Wix website to the next level. And with that, I'll see you next time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. This tutorial may be over, but that doesn't mean that your journey has to end here. YouTube will have some recommendations up above in a moment for more videos, but don't get too distracted because my eyes are over here and on the WixWiz website, we have a lot more resources for you to continue learning or get support for your business or project. We've got a blog, beginner courses, and a community forum where you can vent about Velo or post some tough questions like, why does my header have a mind of its own? On the website, you can also find my personal calendar to schedule a one-on-one -on -one and details about getting ongoing assistance from our team of Wix experts. I'll catch you later, and don't forget that every big feature was once a small bug.